You ever wonder if those natural haired girls really do all that stuff to their hair every night? Well, here's a real look at my week in natural hair. This is a collab with the lovely Hair by Pierre. She has her video of her week in natural hair on her YouTube channel, and you should definitely go head over and check it out now. Hey guys, it's Chris, and welcome to my week in natural hair. All right, so we're back. Here's the results of the Bantu knot. I actually don't like how it's like too, it's too shrunken. Like I would like there to be more length there. So I'm gonna tease it out and make it work. Kind of okay, so I actually ended up fluffing my hair out a little bit. I actually really like it now. I like how big and voluminous it is. The night is over. This is how my hair kind of fared at work all day. Um, it kind of swelled up. Now I'm gonna be trying Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine. And I think I'm only gonna use water on my hair and then I think I'm gonna try a braid up because but let me tell you, before this, I co-washed my hair and there was curl and hansic smoothie in it. And I'm wondering if like I didn't get it all out just because it was a co-wash and that's why my hair is kind of puffy even though I blew it out, but we'll see. This is the final result. Sorry. Thumbs up if you guys get lazy with your hair care sometimes too. So this is actually how I usually wear my hair to work most days. Just the ponytail, side ponytail, I'm real lazy. I'll do like a braid out or something sometimes. It really depends on my mood, but let me show you. I'm gonna turn around. It's a simple side ponytail. And for maintenance tonight, I am feeling lazy. I don't feel like braiding this up. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to unpin my bangs. And this is what I do sometimes. I'll take the front part and I'll pin it back like this. Oh. And I'm going to loosen this bottom part a little bit. It feels pretty moisturized. I did have some products like in case it wasn't feeling right. And I'm going to take some of my leave-in. I like to use the Allocade Naturals. So I'll spray a little of that into my palm of my hand. I'm going to put this on my edges right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of castor oil that I'm almost out of. I'm going to put this rubber band back on into a loose bun in the back. And I'm going to wrap my scarf around my head. And then also since I have this part out back here, I'm going to double up with my bonnet. Good night! See you in the morning. Good morning. So it's about, I think it's about 7.30 or something like that. And I can't sleep, so I'm taking this as a sign to go to the gym. I just took off my scarf. I'm going to pin my bangs back to the side and put it in a bun just like I had it last night for work. This is going to take me literally like two seconds. Okay, not literally. Put it in a bun like this. And bye y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm home from the gym. I've actually been home from the gym for a while and I still need to shower, but I ate and everything. So what I'm gonna do now, so that my hair doesn't look so raggedy and crusty, I don't know if you can see how raggedy and crusty it looks. Looking like 50 shades of raggedy and crusty. I don't know. Can you see how raggedy and crusty is? It's looking ra it looks raggedy and crusty, it, it's not actually. What I want to do is, I'm gonna do a braid out I think. I'm just gonna do like a few big braids and I'm gonna wrap it with a scarf and I'm gonna probably lay back down and go to sleep before I have to go to work. Then this was actually an old Bantu knot out, believe it or not. I didn't preserve it the way that I should have for styling purposes, but it's just here. Like I don't have anywhere special to go. I don't have to go to like an event or anywhere where I wanna look really dolled up. I'm just going to do my regular everyday stuff. I'm gonna be using the uh, Allocade Naturals, the diluted Allocade Naturals lemongrass leave-in and maybe a little of the Shea Moisture uh, transitioning milk on my ends. Like I said, I'm only gonna do a few braids and I'm calling it a day. I'm gonna jump in the bay. I need to clean up. All right, so I have eight braids total. I'm going to tie them down with the scarf. I realize that tying my hair down with a scarf first versus putting only my bonnet on, that seems to do better as far as uh, styling my hair goes. Okay, so it's time for the takedown of this braid out. I'm getting ready to go to work. Hopefully this looks nice and decent. 
I usually don't use products that have glycerin if I'm going to do a braid out. I know that Allocane Naturals leave and has glycerin. I don't feel so uh, iffy about that one just because I know I'm only using like a spray or two and I know that underneath there's like not glycerin in it. Got some good definition. So this is everything. I shift my hair to fluff it out like naturally. It feels so soft. It feels so nice and soft like tonight. I really probably won't have re -wet. if I re-wet it or re-dampen it to braid it up tonight, I'll probably just use water and not the um, leave-in. Yes. So that's it. Hey guys, it's, this is how my braid up held up for the day. And I actually don't mind. It got big and fluffy, but again, I know that that's because I used the Allocane Naturals, which has glycerin in it. So that's what glycerin does to your hair. What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to spritz a little bit of water on each section. I'm going to do those same eight braids with water instead of the leave-in because it doesn't have glycerin in this water only. And so I'll still probably get quite similar results tomorrow. And we'll see how it goes in the morning. All right, so I have my Bi Felicia braids. I'm about to put my scarf on. Probably should wash my hair tomorrow. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. I didn't waste them. Good night. So I'm actually running late for a meeting, so I'm just gonna take down my braid out. Y'all know how it's gonna be. So it's nighttime, and this is how my hair is held up throughout the day. I think that what I'm gonna end up doing in the morning is probably just putting it in a because I real, I'm just feeling real lazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm feeling lazy. I don't feel like doing anything to my hair tonight. So put my hair up in a puff for tonight. Okay. I'm gonna put the scarf around my head right here, like this. Good night. <laughs> All right, so after this point, I decided to wash my hair and I started experimenting with wash and goes. And I do have a video of that, check it out here. But then also, I figured out a new way of doing my wash and goes and retaining moisture, which is the maximum hydration method. And I have a video on that as well. And there you have it. That's a true look into a week of my natural hair. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your week in natural hair is like. Do you re-braid or retwist nightly? Do you get lazy like I do sometimes? And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.